Miguel Rocket Team's mission is to promote interest in astronautics through competition, to foster a very strong and healthy relationship with the surrounding Montreal community, and for most, to uh, foster a, an empowered, well-connected team uh, that emphasizes strong work ethic, a positive dynamic, and a passion for advancing the future of humanity. Uh, now, the point, uh, the project this year is to compete and represent McGill University at the International Collegiate Rocket Engineering Competition. It is going to happen in Green River, Utah, this June 2015. Um, we are about 70 students that are, have been working on this project. Uh, that are from all departments, from all, uh, from four faculties: management, engineering, science, and arts. And uh, we constructed this rocket actually in four months, which is a very uh, which is a record time, actually. So uh, it took a lot of dedication. Uh, but as you know, we believe that it doesn't take only the work of 70 talented students uh, to, to make a rocket and, and, and soar both in this competition. It really takes the help and support of a whole community. And that's. Uh, uh, and I would like to take the opportunity to thank one of our greatest sponsors, 3D Matter Things, for supporting us and, uh, and uh, with uh, 3D printing our payload and our fans. So thank you so much to you guys. And, um, and you were saying that also you have uh, a fundraising uh, campaign. Yeah, basically you have fundraising and you're short. You're saying you have five days left, right? That are yes, short. Uh, so we are making. We are a bit short of money, unfortunately. <laughs> And we have made a fundraising campaign through a platform at McGill called Seeds of Change. We have raised so far $3,000 and we have one week left and $1,000 to go. So if you can help us, that would be really awesome, either by donating or sharing our campaign on your on the social media, that would be really great. So thank you so much. I'll leave it to Kyle to explain to you how the 3D printed payload works. Very awesome. So the mission is to bring a 10 pound payload up to 10,000 feet. Our payload will be in our rocket sitting about here. As you can see, this rocket is still so, our payload naturally has to be cylindrical. Um, our goal was to create some sort of solar-powered glider that as it would descend would pick up atmospheric information. So, um, we wanted to maximize drag and want to, to where we can maximize flight time and have as much exposure to sunlight and as much time for these sensors to pick up information. Um, drag is a geometric property and we needed to create something that had very complicated geometry. So, if you can see the bottom of this, it's very, very complicated. This would have been impossible without our help from Matter Things. And it, I'm being serious. Um, so, as this thing descends, air is going to hit the bottom of this, pop this open, and they're going to create a negative pressure pocket up here, which is going to create some sort of lift. And, I'll do much of it. So it looks like this, and when it deploys, as this thing drops, air is going to push these fabric up, and it's going to descend and help maximize drag. And it re which section of the rocket is so it located? So it's going to be kind of folded up like this, and it's going to sit right here where you see MDA, it's going to sit in here. When the nose cone decouples at around 10,000 feet, um, there are going to be hooks underneath this, and so when this thing kind of literally explodes off, it's going to pull it out. We're going to have electronics in here, and it's going to be more bottom heavy, so even though this thing might come out upside down, it's going to readjust itself, and as it falls, it's going to pop back open. Smart. Thank you. So what we're really hoping is that we to, to maximize the, 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 the flight time so that we have as much solar power that will power our sensors and will collect atmospheric data and send it to the ground station. So as, as much time we have, as much solar power we have, we can collect more data and hopefully this will come down and uh, we have a great, great data and, and probably be able to recover it. It has actually a GPS inside. So using the GPS we'll be able to, uh, uh, to, lock, to localize the, the payload and hopefully recover it fully because I think as it goes down there's a, there's a lot of wind so it might so it might drift so one of the challenges that we'll be facing is you know to recover this to recover the payload but thanks to the GPS hopefully that would be possible or a sniffer dog <laughs> <laughs> that's also true <laughs> excellent thank you so much good luck in your competition thank you thank you so much thank you so much